welcome to Crystal French Geckos. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I design and set up my terrariums for Madagascar hissing roaches. Madagascar hissing roaches are one of the largest species of hissing roach, reaching between 5 and 8 centimeters in length when they are full grown. They can be kept as pets or bred as a food source. For this setup, I'm going to be using a 10 gallon glass terrarium with a sliding screen lid. The first thing that I'm going to add into the terrarium is a substrate. Madagascar hissing roaches like to have a more humid environment, so I'm using a mixture of coconut fiber and peat moss for my substrate. I'm not going to pack it down, but I am going to spread it out to make a more even surface to build on. I'm going to make this layer a good 3 to 5 inches thick, keeping in mind that their nymphs or the baby roaches will spend most of their time in the substrate layer as they grow. For my hardscape in this terrarium, I'm going to be using cork wood and oak branches as hiding and climbing areas for the roaches. These animals are climbers, so it is important to provide sturdy climbing areas for them. Nymphs will also use the grooves in the cork wood as hiding areas. I'm also adding the oak branches to give a little bit more texture to the environment. On top of the substrate, I'm going to sprinkle around some bark chips to add both some extra security for the nymphs and to help replicate a natural environment for the roaches. I'm also going to place around a little bit of sphagnum moths and leaf litter in the terrarium. Madagascar hissing roaches are scavengers. In the wild, they will feed on leaf litter, rotten wood, and fallen fruits. So they will eat the leaf litter as well as the fresh salads that we make for them. I'm going to go back a step and add some more pieces of cork wood to the background to fill in the empty space. For the background wood, I'm going to find grooves in each of the pieces to lock together and then wedge them into place. The last step is going to be to add a food and water dish for the roaches. Depending on your local climate, you may add a heat mat or heat bulb for the roaches to give them a nice hot spot. It stays pretty warm in our building, so an added heat source is not necessary. Now it is time to add in our roaches. These are wide horned hissing roaches, one type of Madagascar hissing roach. In this terrarium, we have about four adults and three juveniles, which is a start to a good breeding colony.
hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up down below and subscribe to see more content like this. If you would like to see more of these animals, you can go follow us on Instagram at crystalfrenchgeckos. Thank you for watching. Bye!